welcome back to microbial concepts so already a video is uploaded on endophytes okay where i have explained everything that what are endophytes why to screen what is the need to screen endophytes what are the applications what is the significance of endophytes etc in this video we are just going to focus on what is the criteria for selecting a plant through which or by using that plant you can screen for endophytes okay so we are just going to discuss the plant selection criteria for endophyte screening okay so let's start so just a quick revision here that is what are endophytes so we know that if you have watched my previous video then you know that microorganisms which live inside plant tissue they are known as endophytes okay and they cause no harm to the host and these microorganisms can be bacteria or fungi okay now these microorganisms they live in parts like stem leaves and roots okay inside these parts you can find these uh, beneficial microorganisms in plants and they can be bacteria or fungi and you can use any of these parts of plants as your sample to screen endophytes now these bacteria they live in symbiotic relationship that means both the host and the uh, endophytic bacteria or say fungi both are benefited okay by their uh, symbiotic relationship now what are some benefits which these endophytes they give to the plant so these endophytes they are known for phytohormone production which promote the plant health then they are also known for nitrogen fixation improved nutrient uptake increased tolerance to environmental stresses and protection against pathogens or other diseases okay so this is the reason why we study endophytes now why to screen and study endophytes now endophytes they act as a reservoir of novel bioactive secondary metabolites that means they are very good source of secondary metabolites and we can screen these endophytes and check what kind of uh, secondary metabolites they are producing for example alkaloids phenolic acid quinones uh, steroids etc and these secondary metabolites they actually have a potential of uh, say acting as antimicrobial or anti insect or anti cancer and many more other properties and that's the reason why we need to screen such endophytes now your endophytes can be say bacteria fungi actinomycete or mycoplasm any kind of endophyte you may get when you screen for uh, endophytes by using a particular plant and its plant part now using this endophytes you can completely uh, study it taking an application or you can conduct a study depending on uh, say various location various um, climatic factors you can set and uh, for example the soil the ph of the soil the temperature of that particular location then the humidity and you can uh, collect three four different types of plants and you can uh, study the diversity of endophytes which differ depending on the soil which differ depending on the temperature depending on the ph of soil depending on the humidity depending on the rain etc etc and you can conduct a different whole study okay so using endophytes you can uh, for your ms dissertation you can plan different types of uh, research topics okay you can uh, use it for uh, nanoparticle synthesis uh, then you can uh, check for antibiofilm uh, property or you can check whether a particular uh, secondary metabolite which say if if you found a novel endophyte then what kind of properties does it has etc etc okay so endophytes is a very vast topic and currently it is um i can say a hot topic which is under research okay a lot of research is going on on endophytes so think about this topic for your msa dissertations or say for your phd now let's see what plant selection criteria for endophyte screening so when you are selecting a plant for your endophyte study then there are several criteria that you should take into the consideration first is ecological significance so the plant which you want to select it should have a ecological importance like it should be 
uh, say where it should be endangered or uh, one which has a very good ecological significance those are the good candidates of endophyte for endophyte screening endophytes they may provide additional benefit to these kind of plants okay such as improved resilience to environmental uh, stresses or increased resistance to diseases etc okay and mostly these kind of endangered rare um, plants nowadays they are uh, as they are rare you find them at a very good location where the temperature ph of soil the other environmental factors they are very uh, good for its growth okay so you need to think it geographically ecologically so that you can select a very good plant for your study then cultivation feasibility that means the plant which uh, which is easy to grow and propagate that should be prioritized for endophyte screening okay because you can't just use uh, or you can can't just take a small single um, plant as a sample and you cannot preserve it for a longer period of time so it may happen that you may need to propagate it so it should be a cultivation feasibility there should be a cultivation feasibility of that plant so why because this will facilitate the screening process and increase the chances of success then known uses this is also a very good criteria which is mostly followed when uh, nowadays the study is conducted that means the plants which are known for their uh, medicinal or uh, culinary or other purposes um, other medicinal or say other uses they are good candidates for endophyte screening that's how it is um used nowadays for selecting a plant then endophytes they may produce compounds that could be useful in these kind of applications say medical or culinary or say any agriculture perspective depending on your purpose also you can um you can select your plant or you can start setting the criteria for your plant selection okay for example uh, if you want to study endophytes related to your agriculture application okay so for example what are the agricultural applications um, you can produce a biofertilizer or you can produce a what we can say biopesticide or, or, or a biocontrol agent so depending on these uh, purposes you can select your plant okay so this is one then next is taxonomic diversity so screening plants for a wide range of taxonomic groups can help identify diverse endophyte communities and increase the likelihood of discovering novel endophyte okay so when you start screening plants from wide range of taxonomic group it can help you to increase the chances of discovering novel endophyte so taxonomic diversity then host specificity some endophytes are host specific and can only be found in certain plant species okay so screening a diverse range of plants also increases your chances of identifying such good host specific endophytes then geographic location uh, i earlier mentioned this point so plants from different geographic regions may host different endophyte communities okay now a rose plant in maharashtra and a rose plant in say bengal okay the geographic location is different the climatic conditions are different so the endophytes which that particular or those two plants uh, will have the diversity will be different okay so screening plants from a range of geographic locations can also help identify region specific endophytes okay so these are the main uh, criteria but along with this important criteria is that your plant should be fresh and not dried and your plant should be healthy that means it should be free from any kind of infection okay the part which you are taking for your screening purpose it should be healthy and it should not be diseased okay so by considering these criteria now one can select a appropriate plant species for endophyte screening and they can increase the likelihood of identifying a useful endophyte okay a uh, lot of research papers are available now different um, 
purposes, different applications on which research is going on for endophytes. So you can check those on internet and study. So I just want to focus one more point here that when we talk about plant selection criteria, it's not just um, dependent on the plant which you're selecting. It also depends the screen, uh, the screening process of your endophyte. It also depends on different factors which affect the diversity of the uh, endophyte. OK, so first is bacterial specific. That means the species, the strain, then plant specific. The species, the cultivar, the growth stage of plant, the plant tissue which you are using, the geographic location from where you got the plant. Then environment specific. What are the environmental factors? Climate, whether there was a drought, what was the salinity of the soil, the season when you took the plant, the soil type, the pests, pathogens. Okay. Then method specific, that means our uh, cultivation right our screening process so sterilization method culture dependent methods culture independent methods depending on this you may find that if two person are conducting endophyte screening experiment then depending on the human error depending on their skills also it may happen that they may get different types of endophytes growing on their media plate okay so you have to when you are doing a research, you also have to uh, write all these factors. OK, when you got the plant, what was the climatic condition? What was the soil type? Uh, what was the salinity of the soil, etc. OK, so I hope this video is useful to you all. Do like my videos. Give the, do give a thumbs up. Do comment on this video and do share this videos and do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notification on each new video that I upload. Thank you.